growth opportunities, emerging technologies, new business models, and companies to action across all industries. Frost and Sullivan. Tivo has got some exciting stuff at CES that we wanted Scott to uh, uh, talk to us about because one of the things, and especially those who have been following our research, would have been um, uh, noticing we have been talking about context. Like Content is no longer king. You could have the best content out there, but if the quality of experience sucks or if people aren't able to discover it or figure out whether it's recommended for them, uh, you're not able to monetize on it. And that's why we are saying that context is king and that, that context comes from metadata which is data that describes data, which, uh, unbeknownst to a lot of viewers, is the foundational element that powers almost all our user experience whenever we are watching any sort of content um, and digitally. With that, let me turn over to Scott to understand what exactly is TiVo's perception of the market and what TiVo is bringing to uh, uh, the entire market over 2019. TiVo's been in the user experience business and, and innovated the DVR 20 years ago, and we've continued to push that innovation ever since. So there's, there's sort of the top level experiences you touched on and what the consumer sees, but I also I also want to highlight the, the metadata behind the scenes and how that really powers everything we do. Um, at a high level, you know, this is experience four, so this is the, the guide experience that is rolling out across all of our uh, customers, both retail and cable operator customers today. Um, and the first thing you'll see, very visual. So uh, I think one of the changes we've seen over the years is, of course, images drive discovery. So that's absolutely key. So we pay a lot of attention to all of the elements, especially the, the images associated with these programs. All the metadata that you'd expect, which are the descriptive elements of the show. So it's the show name, et cetera. It's also guide data. So when we talk about metadata, that's schedule metadata as well. Um, there's metadata that is inclusive of all the icons and artwork for the content providers, right? The, the partners for us. The, the other thing that we have behind the scenes is um, it's an entertainment graph that links these assets based on uh, the talent associated with those shows or the theme. So this is more qualitative in nature. It touches, there are metadata tags associated with every program that touch on mood, theme, tone. And we use that to create collections and recommendations. So these carousels that you see here will tune to your viewing behavior. And to get that right, each of these assets has very deep, rich, dense metadata associated with it. So, um, yes. Theoretically, uh, even based on time of day, once you have enough uh, understanding of my behavior, uh, you might be able to say, hey, it's 9 p.m. Central, and this is the time Mukul really likes to watch Campy 80s yes. fiction. That's right, that's right. Yes, so we're gonna be not just targeting based on, um, it's really geared off behavior. It's based on your individual viewing viewing behavior. So it becomes very, very personalized in that way. Um, so uh, let me show one other example, find Black Panther. So voice search is key. So this has become a primary experience and discovery pathway for, for consumers. And uh, I used a fairly simple voice command here, searching for the title of the film. Um, now, we see all versions of Black Panther that are available. So in addition to the, the film itself, which is just what I was looking for, it shows me where it's available. This is another aspect of metadata, knowing what's on where. So it's sort of the OTT, the availability of that asset. So we know that Black Panther is available on Netflix, Prime Video, Vudu, and of course there are multiple versions of this. So there's the original, here's the bonus material, here it is in 3D. So there's metadata behind the scenes that enable us not just to support the voice search, but also organize all the content, um, including the cartoon series. What to Watch, that's a primary area of discovery where we're, uh, we're organizing by um, popular categories. Images are key and the lineups are always changing, but we're, we're delivering very high resolution images to, for uh, every matchup across every league, across every game. So another example where, uh, where images become important. Um, one other aspect of the metadata in the sports category is that we index everything at the league 
team and athlete level. That's a view to our next generation guide. This is TiVo Experience 4, uh, rolling out with our customers today and available in uh, retail today. And, uh, and also a view to the metadata behind the scenes. Everything you expect as a consumer that you see on the surface, the images, the guide data, et cetera, but also a hint of what's going on behind the scenes. The met deep metadata that drives discovery and voice search and then recommendations. So those deep descriptors and keywords are critical to delivering this type of experience. Just to uh, highlight how important metadata is uh, for that content experience, uh, a lot of people tend to only focus about analytics, but they don't realize that the context that comes uh, through is when you marry analytics on the consumption side really to metadata. And that's what really brings it all alive. And it's uh, companies like TiVo that are uh, uh, surging forward, bringing all of that technology to us.